Hi, welcome into my channel. This channel is against the Big Bang. I discovered that the Big Bang is false and we can go to the stars. If you are surprised of this, we can go in these days with rockets of the stars. The stars are close. And this is what I'm, I'm talking about in this video. But I used uh, to cut from some videos. I, I cut some from, from videos and, and I comment. So in this video it's about planet formation. From, from this guy, <clears throat> from this guy YouTube, <clears throat> about planet formation, this guy. The universe comprises countless galaxies, each one containing numerous stars. Around some of those stars, there are planets, just like those that orbit our own star, the Sun. So, <clears throat> if you watch that, I will insert uh, three more parts from this video. Uh, about planet formation, okay? This is the way I made my video, if you know I'm saying like a tea science, coffee science, it's a tea, a green tea, and I comment uh, about science, astronomy, it's, it's false, the way how they are telling you. So, so if you want uh, you to balance, that's why I made this, okay? Is I discovered that this, all, all these the theories are false. He's saying that it's a hypothesis, but but uh, this hypothesis is not based on science. But you listen how he says that the planets are forming, everybody says this, and then I will try to, to, to understand with your mind if you observe something wrong in what he says. If not, come back and I will, I will tell you. So listen how he is saying that the planets were forming. Listen. The nebular hypothesis is the most widely accepted explanation for how the Sun and planets in the solar system may have formed. When our solar system was first created, all that was thought to have existed was a cold, spinning cloud of gas called the solar nebula. The nebula resulted from an uneven distribution of gases throughout the universe. As the gravitational pull began to condense the gas toward the center, the speed of the rotation increased. This caused the cloud to flatten, creating an accretion disk. Matter continued to collect as the growing force of gravity drew it toward the center. Eventually, the gas warmed from the increasing pressure. As the mass further increased, the gravity also increased. And as a result, the temperature continued to rise. A ball of hot gas formed in the center of the accretion disk, creating a protostar, also known as the Sun. So after you watch that, you understand that this is uh, only the, uh, a part he has. Uh, I, I will insert uh, other parts. So if you do not understand what is wrong about this, let me tell you on shirt, gravity is not attraction. So you see, if you have these grain sugars like this in space, it will gravity will not attract them. If if they will attract, if they are ionized or magnetized like this, so but the gravity is not attraction. It's a field rotating field like this. And <clears throat> this is one of the mistakes. So gravity, even though you will have a, a cloud, will not spin it. We it, it will not spin the cloud. You must have a, a rotation a field caused by some other thing. So it will not spin a cloud even though you will have it. So this is a, a wrong, the first wrong step. Okay. So gravity is a rotating field, <clears throat> and it will it is not attraction. But it is physics. If you do not believe this, this is physics. A rotational vector. And what he says is not physics, okay? He is like, he speaks like this, like everybody says. So what is the, the second wrong thing, if you do not realize, but observe another part from his video, I will set another part, and you then watch, and I will tell you the second problem with this hypothesis of planet formation. So watch. Finally, when enough gas gathered in the center of the protostar, the pressure generated enough heat to fuse the atoms, forming a star. Outside the star, matter was forming into clumps of gas, dust, and rock, which created protoplanets. These protoplanets continued to grow as they trapped material in their gravitational fields. Because the protoplanets all formed from the same cloud of gas and dust, 
they travel around the sun in the same direction and in the same plane. The nebular hypothesis also explains how the planets are arranged. So if you know, I already tell, told you, but this is the way I made my videos. I have always uh, something here to drink. This is a green tea. You see, I put some lemon juice like this and some sugar. I guess I already put sugar, okay? So, so now you understand another problem. If you understand the distances between the sun and the earth is 150 million kilometers. So it is still somehow like the, you, are, you, you are watching this, you are mesmerized or a trick. Like a, with a spell, image spell. But if you understand now, you have a, 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 a radius of uh, uh, 150 million kilometers. You have a circle with a radius of 150 million kilometers. And then you take the earth and you break it. You make it like the fine sh sugar, like this it says, like a dust and, and gases. And now you, you imagine the radius 150 million kilometers, what circle will, will, will make? The circle of the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. But you, but you understand that the radius of this circle is 150 million kilometers. Mars planet, you put more 50 million kilometers up beyond the Earth. So this 200 million kilometers in kilometers, in mile. Uh, let's see, let's approximately of half of this, if, if you are from America, you know, in mind. So, but what is the problem? Now, you distribute these fine sugar grains of earth, you break it like in fine sugar, like in sand, you know, uh, sand or the beach is sand of, 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 of the sea, okay? But, but, but this is trick, because imagine all the sand on the earth distribute in, in the circle of 150 million kilometers radius. You understand? That's a trick. The, the earth was congealed in a near vicinity, so the gas was, it's like point forming around the earth. So if you, if they show into you this big cloud of, of dust rotating, rotational, it is false. You, see, you understand why? Each planet, if you put Mars planets and break the Mars planets in fine grain sugars in a radius of 200 million kilometers, we imagine that you have uh, this speck or, and then another kilometer and another speck <laughs> of rock. And you, I'm telling you gravity not being attraction. Then you imagine, still if you, if you sustain the hypothesis that these are, are moving around the sun with a, with a speed, let's say the speed of orbital velocity of Mars planet, okay? Each grain of sugar, you must understand that nothing accelerates them, the one to catch one from be, be, beyond, beyond uh, behind. Okay, so like you have a, a, a cars, it's a simple problem. You have two cars, 100 kilometers per hour, and another car, 100 kilometers per hour, that is in front with 100 meters. N there's no time when they will catch each other. So these grains, if you, you'll have it Mars planet in 200 million kilometers, it, it will be one grain of sugar and then a kilometer, another grain of sugar will not congealing Mars planet. So the material of congealing of planets, there's near vicinity, the planets, where the planets are in this, in this current day. So, so it is, is this false like this, like, like a star, like blowing up and radiating some material and this, if you understand how fine is the, if, and if you want to understand, so let me make another break and hear another part from here, from him and then I will take you another problem. I, I, I will uh, I'll explain to you another plum, uh, problem about this, so watch. The heat and solar winds caused by the sun swept the lighter gases farther out into the developing solar system. This is why the rocky terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are located closer to the sun. The gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, formed in the cooler outer region of the solar system. 
So if if you heard that, the, let me explain to you another problem. The the if you say that the speed the light that is speed or uh, limit speed, you have the pr nine year start that they say is four light years. This is billions of billions of kilometers. You cannot reach matter from that star, so the material must be local from the from here. So so so. The sun, even though it was ignited, will not expel, let's say, not from where it was created four billion years of they say, to eject material to push it beyond the solar system in four billion years to to with with a speed of velocity of the planets because this is the speed of rotation to push the material beyond the solar system. So the material is in near vicinity. Even if you if you understood the source section, the planet was congealing. Or on, and let's say that some material push uh, uh, that was supplementary <laughs> and now is beyond the Alpha Centauri of four light years, okay? So the material must be from here. And you'll understand that uh, the material of the planets must be, uh, you cannot distribute. And, and, and no matter how big it will seem to Jupiter planets, that from, uh, there's more than uh, uh, 200 million kilometers that has uh, uh, distant, the uh, radius of Mars orbiting. Or the or, or, so so no matter if it is made from gas or, or or water, how I'm saying. So if you want to know now how this is correct production of the planets, the planets were submerging water, all the planets, and there are there are specific chemistry problems that you understand that the planets were made under water, that in a cloud of water, gravity not being attraction not. Con could congeal. You understand that from other planets like Mars, if you have uh, some machines there, like like uh, Curiosity or, or or okay or or this kind of rovers, you understand that the structure of the rocks are similar with Earth. So you cannot obtain this only these molecules like if they were coagulating in water. So the correct the correct vision is like in the bible it says the earth was made under water like 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 you can have these granules in the liquid state like you have some liquid of sugar and and the the, the when you you when you evaporate the water the sugar remains from the liquid state it crystallized. In the same manner, the rocks are crystals on Mars also. So, so if you understand, they were submerged in a cloud of water, inclusive the sun. The sun is not made from gases. It is a, it is a, a big ball of iron, filled by NASA, multiple iron ions, okay? So, now, if you want to imagine that these clouds, like it was electro, electrolyzed, and split from from this this you are from a hypo hypothesis if you want not like that guy from the current day actual physics the gravity is not attraction his hypothesis breaks down but this is not because indeed electricity creates magnetism and it will attract so if you imagine the, the create some poles in the water like in a thunder cloud the, the cloud the, the cloud will split and uh, the planets uh, prior uh, submerging water were coagulating like this grain of sugar. So, so you can find this cloud. This is a board of our galaxy, and it's still there. And and then the sun was ignited. And even in their uh, 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 view, you must understand that when you have light, you have instant. Like so, the sun was. Uh, 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 ignited at, uh, at once, if you understand. So this is the video for today for planet formation. So uh, NASA uh, in the uh, they are preoccupied with this, like they train Nobel prizes, okay? And they put some on the web official website some these uh, uh, similar pictures, like artist impression. They write, write artist impression. They search for exoplanets okay so they film they observe this hydrogen oxygen stuff 
and then they filmed and uh, you, you understand that it is hydrogen oxygen that we are seeing they believe that further than they are and and the, this is the, the their solution like this artist impression and i've told you how this is wrong you, you if you you are trick you do not realize how you, you how it means to distribute the earth on on the on the circle the radius of 150 million kilometers so the the sun was ignited after it was pulled out from the water was coagulating like a big big ball of iron and the rest of the planets uh, they are not like the like a big you must have uh, much much more iron that is the core of the earth this is still melting because there's a radiation field all over the solar space system this is the cause of the plan of the gravity because to this grain of sugar will not move in here and nor in space pushed by nothing so this uh, this field spins the sun and ignites the sun after it voided this is uh, this, so this is uh, the correct way gravity not being the hypothesis you you can be blind you you do not understand what i'm telling you okay if you if you, if you saw the official theory so the official theory not gravity not being attraction cannot produce this but and the, the the cloud this radiation it is circulating like this and it spins on the planet and pushes as it has a common vector that's why it has and he is wrong about because there's some satellites that move reverse there are no in the so you cannot obtain from a single circular field the gravity of so he is saying that all, all of them is are spinning the same place and it is not a true or oh, because the Pluto planet is 20 degrees angle like this so you cannot explain even this if you have on the equator of the sun the orbital bullshit gravity to push the planets like this okay so i'm telling you not the sun is the cause even though it's in the middle and the cloud was split the planets of coagulating there many planets they see it from gases as from water made because we're in water cloud of water and the sun was ignited by the steel that uh, creates gravity this field is a, a light a light field uh, basically you cannot see the light only object of the distance so it is a field not having an object to illuminate it is seems like a empty space okay but it is a field for, from light gravity is this field so this is the video for today if you watch that i inserted four five pieces of from these guys this is the way i made my videos i'm saying like a tea science coffee science so I, you watch three minutes from that video. I cut videos and I comment them. And it is not a small video for you to understand that the current the production uh, hypothesis is wrong. It's totally wrong and not based on anything. It's not head science. Only this circular hallucination. You can you can put this on graphics on, on the computer. It's not, it is not true. Uh, nonetheless, even though you can. You can make this artist impression. Okay, goodbye, God bless. This is the way our solar system is looking. We can go to the stars, the star, the stars are in the cl in clouds of hydrogen water, water at the uh, board of our galaxy. That's a sphere, it's not a spiral. And the galaxies are small uh, clouds. They are not gravitational systems. Okay, gravity is not attraction, not due to mass, it's acceleration. Goodbye, God bless. Like, share and subscribe. Uh, it will help me, okay? You understand that I'm telling you the right stuff. Okay, goodbye. God bless.